Hi everyone, Pridhip here from TGT and welcome to another quick update video about Safari. In a previous video, we discussed about Apple releasing Safari 15.4 with some WebKit updates. Now with the public release of iOS 15.5 and macOS Monterey 12.4, Apple released Safari 15.5. Along with that, Apple has also released macOS Big Sur 11.6.6 and security updates for macOS Catalina users as well. I have made a separate video about macOS Monterey 12.4. If you haven't watched that video yet, I'll link it in the end screen of this video. So if you have already updated your Mac to macOS Monterey 12.4, then you already have Safari 15.5. It came preloaded with Monterey 12.4. To check for the present Safari version, open Safari and then go to about Safari. Here you can see the version is 15.5 and here is the latest build number as well. But if your Mac is running macOS Big Sur or macOS Catalina, then you should see Safari 15.5 as a separate update. To check for the update, go to System Preferences, then Software Update, and you should find the update here. For the reference, I am running macOS Monterey 12.4 in this mid-2017 MacBook Air 13-inch. Before the update, you need to close the browser and this update should take just a minute or so to install and do not require system restart. Safari 15.5 may not be a feature packed release, it mainly a security and bug fix update, at least what I have found so far, I'll let you know if I find something else later. But from the security point of view, this is an important update and fixes a lot of security fixes, mainly related to WebKit for your Mac. Now let's first go to the Apple security update release note page and then go to Safari 15.5. Here you can see this version contains a number of WebKit updates for both macOS Big Sur and macOS Catalina and of course macOS Monterey as well. As you can see a memory corruption issue was addressed with improved state management. Also a use after free issue was addressed with improved memory management. If you want to have a closer look at the WebKit updates and fixes, you need to visit the website for details. Here you will find all the new WebKit features in Safari 15.5. Here you can see it contains some developer features, then fixes and polishes some previously released features as well. In fact, if you have watched my previous video about Safari, you might remember that Safari 15.4 came with 70 new WebKit features. So it was a feature packed release and Safari 15.5 actually keeps building on that. It has HTML, Web API, CSS, authentication, media, WebRTC, rendering, Apple Pay, compatibility, and a lot of other WebKit fixes and updates. You will find this note linked in the description box below in case you want to read it in full. Safari 15.5 also fixes some existing bugs as well, such as the frequently visited website bug. In a previous version, Safari was unable to show the frequently visited websites for some users even when the toggle was on. Users are reporting that this version has fixed that issue. Also it seems that the Google map loading issue has been resolved. On Safari 15.4, some users were reporting that Google Maps is running very slow and not loading the areas properly, but it's now working fine. About performance and stability, Safari 15.5 is running as usual after the update in this mid 2017 MacBook Air 13 inch. As you keep using the browser for your day to day activity, you will eventually know the performance. In this 2017 MacBook Air, Safari 15.4 was running without any issue. But as I have mentioned earlier as well, pop up blocker doesn't work properly in some websites with Safari 15. Pop-ups appear all over the pages while visiting some certain web pages. Do share your experience in the comment section below and if you have found something new. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to TGT. Please like and share this video as well. I'll see you in my next one. Peace.